axis and the floor is in. This is the first time that I'm able to kind of stand on the floor and be at the actual height of the windows. It's been a long time coming for this because the floor started so low and it's been building up and up uh, you know, since the beginning of the process and now we're finally at our, our final, final level. Um, I uh, got here this morning to just uh, get the plastic back over the doors. Um, we have some very cold air coming in, so I wanted to get things kind of covered back up. Uh, get the dehumidifier running because it's super, super humid in here again. We've uh, got hundreds of gallons of water in the slab, which now has to go somewhere. And uh, also, I wanted to come and clean off these windows. Uh, you can see right over here, there's a lot of spatter on these windows from the uh, that vibrating bar that went across. Uh, that's no surprise, they told me to expect that. Uh, that's why we put the skirting up over the wood areas. Uh, they suggested to me that if I just came back today with a cloth and water, I should be able to just kind of wipe all that stuff off. I'm not finding it to be that easy, really. It seems pretty stuck on, on there. Um, and as I'm, I'm kind of rubbing at that, obviously the, the concrete is made of Sand, sand and grit and stuff like that, and I don't want to be scratching it against the glass. So, I don't know, I don't want to be scrubbing too, too hard, but I, I was led to believe that this would come off reasonably easily, and I don't know, it does not seem like it is at this point. Um, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to figure that, that part out. But overall, the slab looks pretty good. You can see the um, kind of the, uh, modeled color uh, going through it. Uh, I think that's going to express itself more later as it kind of dry, dries out. You're going to uh, see a little bit more of the color right now. There's just kind of footprints on it. It's kind of hard to make it out. But overall, I do see variations in the, uh, the hue and the, in the uh, uh, darkness of it, which is exactly what I was going for. Uh, one thing that was a little bit of a surprise when I got here this morning is, uh, is all these lines on the floor. Uh, clearly, these were made as settling lines, so if this thing settles at all, it'll crack along those lines instead of... <coughs> got a little bit of a cough or cut like what River had yesterday. Uh, so that if the slab settles, it's going to crack inside of those seams so you don't have cracks going across. I wish they had told me they were going to do that though, because at the last place um, that didn't get done, I, I don't know that I've seen a lot of people's basements where this has been done, so this is a little bit unusual. Um, I really wish they mentioned to me uh, that they were planning on doing it because I, there were many places where I would have navigated them towards uh, putting them versus where they did. Now this, this one here is going to be right underneath the wood stove. This one's actually in a pretty decent location itself. But this one here, for example, if they just moved it over underneath this uh, floor joist, it would have been completely buried in the wall. So I wish that they had told me that they were going to be doing doing that because, uh, you know, I would have asked them to make some different choices about where they place them versus just sort of haphazardly wherever was the most convenient or where it made the most sense to them. Uh, obviously, they don't know where the, the walls are going to be. So, um, yeah, I wish I'd known about that ahead of time. And I, I wish that this was as easy to take off as it, uh, it was uh, presented yesterday. But overall, it's really good to have the slab in. Uh, we're going to be running the dehumidifiers, getting this place dried out again, and uh, then we can start building the, the, wall, the walls down here. Oops, I... <coughs> Get rid of this. I have a com combination cough hiccups. I don't really feel bad at all. I just have a tiny little tickle in the back of my throat and hiccups to go with it. it makes sleeping difficult. That's it. Thanks for watching.